Hey everyone, this is Erin from Don's Appliances, and today we are joined by Jared from our McKnight Road Showroom. Hi. Welcome, happy to have you. Thanks for being here. Oh, glad to be here. And we are gonna be talking about front load versus top load. So being at this location, do you feel like there is one style that's more superior to the other? Definitely more top load, especially for replacement. Um, it's just people have those Pittsburgh basements where they're just used to having like a top load white washer with knobs on it that they've had for the past 15 years and that's what they do their best to replace it with. Do you think that agitators are still something that come into conversation a lot? Yes, for sure. It's usually, I always bring up the non-agitating part of it, but usually most of the people that want non-agitating come in already doing their own research beforehand. Okay. So I think that's what I kind of like about the fact that top load has even kind of gravitated into that option of getting ones without the agitator, but still giving you that top load kind of style, yeah. um, where bells, more whistles, more options, more features, yes. things like that. Um, even I think probably the one that I like the most is that Whirlpool. So Whirlpool actually came out with one that has a removable agitator, which is awesome for bigger loads, being mm -hmm. able to do more delicate clothes, things like yes. that. Do you feel like that one's still like a pretty big seller for you? Oh yeah, it's people always come in and say, where's the one with removable agitator? I said, it's <laughs> Whirlpool's the only one that makes it. They kind of got the niche in the market right now, but I mean, it is very unique. Um, they're the first ones to do it, so we'll probably see every other brand follow suit here soon, because it is very popular here for replacement. Perfect. And I also feel like, you know, with top load nowadays too, like I, you know, I feel like there's always the thought that it's a smaller capacity, but brands like LG, GE, yes. Samsung, Whirlpool, they're all coming out with bigger capacities now. Do mm -hmm. you feel like com capacity is a big conversation to, like still when it comes to top load or is it more, hey, I just want a traditional top load with an agitator? Yeah, it, it, there's trade-offs. I mean, people come in and want Speed Queen, but their capacity is only 3.2 cubic feet mm -hmm. with an agitator. So, I mean, Speed Queen's built the last 25 years as opposed to like your normal LG Whirlpool is expected about 15. Trade-off with that is like brands like LG, Samsung, GE, they have a larger capacity. Right, right. So, I mean, when people come in and they, you know, kind of like, hey, I, I don't really know, you know, what I want to do. Why would you pick a top load versus a front load? So, we see a lot more front loaders for upstairs laundry. Okay. The front loaders are definitely, they are a lot quieter compared to their top loading counterparts. Um, people always are, want the ability to stack them too. So, that's another reason to go with front loaders. And they always get, front loaders get a bad rap for, I don't want to bend all the way down to get my laundry in and out. But there's accessories you can buy. There's pedestals that have storage underneath. Some brands have like eight inch risers you can add on. I have to say, I think the pedestals were like my biggest saving grace when I got my front load washer and dryer. I think mm -hmm. we went like about a year without them and then finally added them on and like my life has forever been changed. Yes, I mean, most of our <laughs> front loaders here in the showroom, they all have pedestals underneath of them, vast majority. And we do have some without to kind of show you the difference with and without. But usually if people are transitioning from a top loader to a front loader for reasons X, Y, or Z, they tend to stick with pedestals as well, just so that the height is still similar. Absolutely. Another thing I think, you know, people kind of gravitate to a front load versus a washer now. We're going to kind of change gears a little bit. I think, you know, the features and everything on a, even though they have tried to add those similar features on top load, I know one feature that's always kind of stood out to me is that overnight wash and dry cycle. Yes. I don't believe there's any top loads that have that ability. No. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that, you know, you want that fan dry, kind of that quick kind of start to your drying process, especially for those active wear clothing, you get that option in the front load. Yes. Yeah. GE, they have a one-step wash and dry. It's not meant for a full load of clothes, but if you're in a pinch and need like a kid's uniform done the night before like a baseball game, then that's the way to do it. Um, not many other brands can have that capability. So, and GE, front loaders in particular, they get a bad rap for having like a mold issue or having more oh, maintenance. Oh, I hear it all the time. I don't want front load, it's gonna make it smell. I don't yes. want this. But I mean, GE came out with that micro band on the seal. Yes. Which, I mean, have you had any feedback as to like what like customer feedback on that? Are they happy with it? Have they had any of the same issues that traditional front loaders, you know, kind of had that rap in getting? Yeah, so it's, it's you have to hit a certain cycle for that fan to run that's in the door. and. All of GE's laundry has microban in it for the most part. Um, it's a blue seal inside. For example, like my girlfriend's parents, it's them and their two children, and they have front loaders in their house, so they're doing laundry, laundry constantly. Laundry upon laundry upon laundry. <laughs> yes, they've had the GE's now for probably two years, two and a half years, and they're very happy with them. And Good. there's no odor smell that they've ever had 
Good. with their machines. So I feel like I'm trying to think of other options. You know, I mean, I know with steam being really popular now is in the front load and the top load. You know, even with, what about dryers? Is there, are there any cycles that you can get benefit from when it comes to front load dryers versus, I mean, they're technically both front load, but yeah. the matching top load dryer versus the matching front load dryer. So, I mean, it's going to match the washer. That's the biggest thing. I mean, an electric dryer is the same as technology as a normal one to match a top load washer. The biggest upsell that you're ever gonna see on any dryer is the ability to add steam. Um, it's a huge beneficiary for like having sanitation aspects. It's and even just loosening those wrinkles and especially yes. those fitted sheets. Yes. Yeah, so those like, are a pain. If it's like a work shirt that it's like you don't like to wash too often for reasons what have you, it's delicate you can add like a steam refresh cycle. It's gonna steam all the wrinkles, get some light stains out and stuff, and then you can just throw it on the hanger right after it's done and throw it in your closet. And look at that, ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we want, I wanna talk a little bit about um, the Speed Queen set that you mentioned earlier. Um, yes. I know that you know people, when people come in and they're like, hey, I want something that is gonna be a workhorse, something that is gonna be similar to commercial. Mm -hmm. I mean, your first, like, there's, there's no question to ask. Yeah. You take them right over the Speed Queen. There's really not, any other brand. I mean, Speed Queen's still built right in Ripon, Wisconsin. They're truly built to last 25 years. Dons can't even sell you an extended warranty on it because they give you such a long warranty out of the box. So what are the warranties that you can expect with something like that? So the Speed Queen, their knob controlled unit, which is the more popular one with us here, it has a five year bumper to bumper warranty. You can still call Dons to service it. If you want more of a digital panel on it, people gravitate towards that just because you can't see the time remaining on the knob controlled model. So people kind of want that flexibility of like knowing when their laundry is going to be done. So they gravitate to the digital panel, which is the TR7, and it'll have a seven year bumper to bumper warranty on it. But then on just your traditional, I mean, whether you go front load or top load, you know, we do have, you know, multiple warranties that you can add on. I think really when it comes down to people coming in and they want, you know, if they're kind of up in the air, do I want a front load? Do I want a top load? I think it just comes down to preference. It does. I mean, I know personally I've had both, but I feel mm -hmm. like once you find one that you like, you kind of stick with that. Yeah, for sure. Because I've had top load my whole life, and I talk to people that come in here that have had nothing but front loaders That's me. their whole life. So <laughs> I had top load for like a minute whenever I rented, but then yeah. otherwise, I mean, I've grown up with front load. It's all I know, but, you know, like I said, those pedestals have been a game changer for me. Yes. So it takes away from having just soap or laundry detergent just sitting everywhere, mm -hmm. dryer sheets, and to not to talk about the height aspect too. Yeah, I do think, you know, we always recommend kind of doing research, you know, looking at the current unit that you have, what do you like, what do you dislike, you know, finding really what is going to be the best option for you. I mean, if you think about it, they say on average you do, you know, $500 worth of, lawn, like every time you put a load in, it's about $500 worth of, you know, clothing. Yes. So you want to make sure you're getting the good care. You're getting, you know, something that is going to help make those clothes last long. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, a lot of the cycles on both top load and front load can meet those needs. Absolutely. I mean, there's pros and cons to each, but do your own research. Personal preference is what I tell people to always go with and don't buy stress. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And Jared, thank you for being here. Make sure you visit donsappliances.com for more information or stop by to one of our 12 locations. Thanks so much for being here.